The government's inaction on climate change is a death sentence to us all. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been posting in quite some time. I think it's been like a month plus. Uh, yeah, I've been busy with uh, with a lot of stuff, not just school. And yeah, I figured I would give you guys a quick life update before we proceed to the video. Um, yeah, I haven't done much drawings recently. Uh, well, I've I've done some, but not too. A YouTube content capacity. If you guys follow my Instagram, you might have seen the one I posted as a reel. Yeah, I think I'll just display it on the screen. It would be better. And uh, uh, and I'm working on another one. I'm loving it so far. Also, if you follow me on my Instagram, you might have seen the unfinished, the unfinished picture. Uh, I don't know. I think if it's uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna make a youtube video on it because i'm almost done but yeah so far it's good even though i'm battling with the paper texture it's not really compatible with the uh, with the type of color that i'm using and um oh yeah also also um i've been reading i've been reading this book random acts of Hero heroic love it's about two love stories one is about two lovers tra traveling to Ecuador, I think they're tourists and they tragically ended up in a car accident and his girlfriend sadly ended up dying. Yeah, so the whole story just goes on about how he's been battling through depression, trying to move on from, uh, you know, the whole situation. And he's been blaming himself for the whole thing, trying to find a new love, but also struggling to not to forget but like to move on from his uh past trauma yeah it's really good and the second uh story was um about an austro-hungarian i don't know if i'm if i'm pronouncing that correctly but yeah an austro-hungarian uh serving his country yeah he's a soldier and he's been they've been exchanging the love letters back and forth with his girlfriend you know longing for each other and it reached a point that he they were struggling to get their letters across to each other because you know due to war they had to travel a lot and yeah so far i've been enjoying it and i highly recommend random acts of heroic love by the way it's not sponsored <laughs> of course it's not sponsored and moving on to our main topic of discussion climate change activists and their whole frenzy i find this whole situation rather very interesting and uh if you've been on the internet chances are that you might have come across one of these videos or maybe seen a full-on news about it it's basically all this craze of climate change activists splashing and gluing themselves to things it's just bizarre and funny at the same time like these people that had to be physically dragged away from the road didn't they think that they might be someone who might be in need of an emergency attention but no they had to go along with their protest and i find this really hypocritical because this is coming from people that probably drive cars that uses gas i don't know if they could afford electric cars but yeah and yeah coming from people that uses plastic products in plastic packaging I know they might try to avoid it, we just can't av avoid it at this point, if we're being honest. And also this lady that had to be taken away by the police, claiming that she's doing this for her son, I, I just find the comment section really funny. Uh, and then again, how is she going to take care of her son if she's in prison? And oh my god, I find this one to be insane, like why do you have to do that? I, like, no comment. 
This is just craziness. This is madness. And also, I don't want to seem as if I'm disregarding everything that they stood for. I kind of looked into how how they claimed as paint paintings destroying the planet. Well, it has more to do with the way the paints are being disposed of. And more specifically, acrylic paints are the ones that are most problematic in terms of being disposed of irresponsibly. So for the artists out there that use paints, do keep that at the back of your mind some of my opinions on the whole situation is that like why does trying to get your attention have to involve a stunt i feel like yeah in every protest there is a need to get attention to you know raise awareness and to get your point across but it's just that some some stunts just get out of hand and it's really wild an example is like the whole situation with the iranian women standing in solidarity by cutting off their hair I mean, like hair grows back, but still, I think it could have been something a bit less dramatic. And also, why not engage in something a bit more productive than doing the bare minimum? Like, I don't know, maybe cleaning the beach, cleaning the garbage, make posts about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be fascinated by that and it would paint a good image about the whole activity. But all these type of protests are kind of like demonizing the whole protest and you know, kind of makes people hate hate them in a way, like I do. <laughs> My final thoughts on the whole situation, uh, don't do crazy stuff in the name of climate change activism, stay safe, use less plastic, dispose of toxins responsibly, and yeah, I would want to know what you guys think of the whole situation, and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>